Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Design City Skylines. My name is Trick Doster and we are back at Cedar Valley where uh, you're going to kill me. You're you're really going to kill me because I, I did uh, redo a big part of the city. Uh, I'm talking about the that big park that was, you know, in front of the government house. Yeah, I kind of redid that whole thing. But I think uh, I think you really like it. Honestly, I think I really like it. So let me let me let me just show you real quick how that uh, how that actually looks like when I rotate the camera here. I'm so scared about the comments, but uh, this is all the same. Nothing has changed. However, this whole thing is now different. It's actually a much much smaller park, and I I zoned a lot more. But uh, I must say, I actually like it quite a bit. It definitely made my game run a lot faster given uh, all the assets that used to be here. It's still kind of under construction, but let me just show you in detail how this uh, looks like. So right here on each end, we have a uh, pedestrian path and a bike path, both uh, on both sides. Uh, my goal is to put uh, cobblestone over them and uh, basically, you know, create a more of a uh, promenade type uh, of building. But uh, as you can see here, we have some little plazas every once in a while. In fact, here we have some picnic tables just uh, under the shade of these tall trees. I added a few varieties of trees that I think look uh, much better. We have to put some pines here to like make this pattern look a little bit nicer. But overall, I'm, I'm really, really happy. And, and this, uh, as you can see here, this curve kind of makes this continue. And then here at the Buena Area Park, I had to get rid of all the assets because it was just lagging. All the, uh, uh, the basically the light blue, yellow, and white flowers had to go. Because, uh, well, first of all, there were a lot of comments saying that these hedges were a bit too tall, so people couldn't really see the flowers. And second of all, yeah, there were so many uh, polygons, I guess, here. Oh, my monitor just turned off. That's actually great. Oh, there we go. Came back on. Um, there were so many polygons here that it would just make my, my game drop frames like crazy. So I had to take uh, that uh, off. I will do a similar pattern with the Argentinian flag uh, colors around here at some point. But for now, it's kind of barren. We have the Spanish flag and the Italian flag kind of representing both of the most influential cultures there. So everything kind of has a meaning and my mother went off again. What the hell is the matter? Okay, it's back on now. Not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, I'm, I'm using this switcher between my MacBook and my PC. So every once in a while it just does weird things, but uh, I've never done that before. Anyways, uh, in this episode, we're gonna be focusing on expansion. Oh, one more change that I did. Let me show you real quick. Uh, this was a suggestion by the comments in the previous video. I actually haven't recorded back to back, so good news there. This uh, video is coming right after the previous one, uh, and I did try to put in uh, your your feedback here. One of them was the fact that the tunnels were going under, so I made them kind of carve into the dirt instead of just going under at at a surface level. I think this looks uh, much better. So. All of those uh, in the comments who suggested this, great idea. I love it, and I'm keeping it. And then over here by the... Uh, I got a lot of comments about this. Most of them were good comments, so that's exciting. However, uh, some of you were voicing your opinions about the fact that uh, the lanes... Like, there's two lanes merging into a three lanes. Um, yeah, I, I, I see where your point is. Well, I'm, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not going to change it. The game, I don't think it's that realistic in, when it comes to how lanes merges. This this lane is dedicated to this thing, absolutely. This one could merge into this one. So I think it, I think it will work okay, and I've seen examples of this in real life. So I'm not going to change it, at least for now, until we have the airport and traffic flowing through here. We'll, we'll get a better idea of how this, uh, how this thing works. So just going to keep that for now. So... Talking about this episode, let's start doing some expansion. Uh, part of the things that I had to do when I was uh, reworking the park is I had to get rid of the uh, two graveyards. So I moved them uh, over here. These are, I think they're being emptied. Let me check. Uh, these are not. These are off. And they're kind of overlapping, which I don't necessarily love. But uh, we need to find a good location for these and turn them on. 
and hopefully I can uh, include the the graveyards in my design over here which uh, this is the area that I want to be expanding if I can pretty much this whole area if possible so uh, oh yeah one last thing I did just to show you real quick I uh, redo this whole area I put down some trees actually did I do this in the last episode I can't remember uh, but in, in any case I'll just show it to you I think it looks great put down some uh, some plants and some trees and it seems like uh, the issue with anarchy let me check is I actually haven't checked this I think can we yeah anarchy is on for trees like if I put a actually let's let's make this better the problem was that I was dragging a road and it was hiding the the, the trees or the vegetation Cool, so that got fixed. Yeah, the game is actually running really well after the last update. I'm also using this mod. I want to include the link in the description. It's called the loading mod or something like that. That I posted a screenshot on Twitter uh, a few hours ago at the time of the recording. So for you, it would be like maybe like five days ago, six days ago. Basically, it was on Saturday, Saturday morning for me. Uh, I posted a screenshot of what it does. Basically, makes a it shows as the game loads it shows you exactly what's loading and tries to combine the textures that are shared between uh, the different assets uh the the props and everything and, and shows you even the ones that you're missing so you can go replace them you can export all of that into a log and figure it out what's uh what's ha really happening so it's a great bot and in some respects it even um improved the performance of the game actually the game runs much uh, faster it, it even displays a timer on the screen which is pretty cool so yeah make sure to check it out i'm gonna include the link like i said in the description so let's uh let's get started here so just to give you an idea what i want to do is we're definitely going to need another interchange in between this one and uh, this one somewhere around here just Separated enough that this uh, connection wouldn't be affected by it or hopefully won't be affected by it And uh, we're gonna have a different layout. We're gonna break this grid a little bit Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure a ton of you are super happy about this I'm hoping by the end of the episode to get the whole layout Maybe even all the way up to here, which we might need another interchange here that way uh, We can divert traffic more efficiently instead of forcing everything to be through this interchange or this one and uh, that and hopefully we can do some zoning. I do want to extend most of this will be low density, but I do want to extend Some uh, high density or medium density on the on some of the main avenues kind of uh, Have a main drag with taller buildings and everything else be you know low density So it will make uh, it will make more sense once I'm done with it or as I'm getting you know As I increase the oh wait, can I not do there we go. Sorry. I was trying to increase the radio. I'm going to get rid of all these trees. Oh, absolutely all of them because uh, there's going to be a ton of uh, work that will be done here. And uh, I don't want these trees to just be bothering me as I lay down the roads. Let's start by, by, by cleaning up this spot. We'll clear this uh, later on. So what I want to do is use this main road or this uh, freeway as some sort of a uh, guide so this is what I have in mind let me oh this is sewn how come this is sewn interesting also what how come this is like not elevated this is very odd turn anarchy on no yes it wants to build the bridge for some reason it doesn't matter it does not matter. So I want to extend this by about this much, which means that this in total, the distance here will be 99. So if we want to find the middle spot, I think it would be around 50. So right about there. I mean, we're, we're going to eyeball it, but it's... Uh, I think this is good enough. I want to extend this back by about this much, I think. And now let's grab uh, probably this type of avenue. We're gonna bring it up to there and probably up to there. Clear all of this. This thing right here will turn off bending, connect that. And uh, let's try our old trick of measuring things. 
So I think 10 units is fine on this side. Let's go about 10 units, 10 by 10. Boom, connected. Perfect. Now let's uh, let's plan this a little bit. I want to have, like I said, a set of roundabouts. So this hopefully will be enough of a gap to put down the uh, interchange. I don't know if I'm gonna go over with the avenue, over the the the, inter the freeway, or have the freeway be over the road. I'm not entirely sure yet. I think that makes more sense for the freeway to be over the road, but uh, we'll we'll get to that in a minute. Now. I want to grab the most important avenues, which are this one and this one and this one. Uh, this one actually will end here. I don't think I want to continue this avenue here. It's, I think it's a bit too much. So I'm going to extend this too. And uh, if we have if we have a big roundabout here, we could potentially connect, do something like this, and then so something like that and have a connecting point here and then hmm not sure let's start by extending by extending these things these are two lanes right uh sorry two ways perfect so if we bring this up to there it's not bad we have the the pine trees actually we should probably upgrade all this i don't think we can let's try that uh because, you know, that's kind of our signature tree. Let's see if we can uh, improve all this without demolishing all the things. This tree is kind of right in the middle. I should probably, you know what? I want to change this segment uh, only only because it, I don't like that being clipped there. So we're going to go with the grass only. And we're just going to do that. And that looks okay. In fact, this is the stopping point for, for the trees. Which means that I can technically... Yeah, no. I was gonna say maybe we can rezone this to get the smaller trees, but I have to like mess up with the you know the menu and all that. I don't really want to have to deal with that. I want to do cool road layouts. So so far it seems like we're not breaking the grid too much, which means that I need to start setting up the connection point here, and I think this is a good connection point. Why is this? It doesn't look like 90 degrees, but the I'll, I'll believe the numbers here. I'm not going to trust my perception of the numbers. Another thing that we could do is branch out this way with another avenue. That way, yeah, it actually kind of makes some sense. And hopefully that will keep our roundabout less weird. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's bring this back to where it was. I think five units by five units. Yeah, it's not perfect, but uh, I'll I'll take it just because I want the. Actually, I want maybe to do this instead. So I definitely want this to be ninety degrees. There we go. So let's come by about five units again and this one is already done so hopefully this will make a little bit more sense ish for some reason I feel like these two are closer together than this two which bugs me to no end here let me see might have to get rid of that easier so seven by seven by Seven, seven, by seven, by seven. I definitely wanted to have smaller roundabouts, but uh, maybe it makes sense for this super long avenues to not be that small. Okay, so that is decent. That is decent, and there we go. That's that is much much better. I love it. So let's get rid of this avenue. We don't need it anymore. And this will be a shortcut into our current main avenue. And that will kind of set the tone for all the pieces in here. So let's make, uh, let's extend this tiny little avenue and have it uh, dead end at another tiny roundabout. So we're gonna do that over here. Instead of three lanes, we're gonna use two lanes and we're gonna use grass. Actually, we're going to use trees. 
because this will be a residential area. I want to have some sort of like affordable housing kind of neighborhood somewhere around here. So hopefully if we have time, we can add that to the mix as well. Okay, so four by four by four by four. Not too shabby. I like that. And I think we're going to need to come straight over here. We're definitely not going to do an avenue, but um, I want to have some roads kind of coming out of here. Oh, can I go? Oh, that's beautiful. I like that. I love that. I like that. I love that. Oh, this is so awesome. So yeah, we're pretty much extending the grid. I know, I know, but uh, trust me, trust me. We'll, we'll we'll do some some cool things. In fact, this is what I, what I want to do here. So we're gonna go. This is the middle point, I think, right? Yes, cool. So let's go by about seven units. Can I get a proper forty-five degree angle here? Forty-five by sure. That's that's fine. So we're going to do something like this and uh, let's, oh, can we fit this road over here? Yes, we can. Okay. So we're, we can pretty much keep the cemeteries here, uh, even though I kind of want to wrap them with more trees or something. So we might move them over. Yeah. We might reserve this big lot for the cemeteries. We're going to go like this, like this, clear, clear, clear all that. Perfect. So now these two are perfectly parallel. That's how you do it. And uh, I guess we might as well just extend this forward. And hopefully, if I did my calculations, actually, let's go. Let's go this way. If I did my calculations correctly, we would be able to get perfectly straight road over here. Extend it further. Clear all this. Continue over here. And boom. We have our little diagonals and we should probably do the same over here because it doesn't look great I must say so if we can do something like this it makes uh, a little bit more sense because this feels like a continuation of this road so even though I'm breaking the grid I kind of want to keep the same layout of roads if that makes any sense in fact we can even do that and this no that is dumb this one is better so instead of uh actually i like that so this is what we're gonna do in order to connect this one to here we are just gonna extend it by this much and uh go do that perfect and that means that if we go it's five units this way five units this way Right about there. If we can clear this, hopefully we can get a nice smooth curve. If I pick the right tool, it would help. Let me pause the game once again because accidentally hit play. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. In fact, I kind of sort of want to replicate this up here too. Yeah, this makes way more sense to me. I need to reverse this lanes though. So let's, let's go ahead and do that real quick. But... Uh, I think it works. In fact, do we want to keep one-way streets? I don't think so, actually. That's actually really nice. I like this, the spacing, too. The spacing is perfect. Even though it's a bit off. But I think we can zone all this, no problem. I love it. Yeah, this, this is great. I love it. I totally love it. So, let's see. Can we somehow come me to you at 90 degrees here fantastic we can perfect uh we might get rid of this actually the spacing looks much better that way so yeah that is staying kind of want it somehow i want to uh, do the same angle on the other side and do something similar like that but it's And then continue over this side. So wait, we need to empty this no matter what. Let's go full speed. 
And, uh, you know, at this point, might as well be better off just doing uh, something like this. So let's go by about this much. Four units by four units. Four units by four units. Boom. Boom. Wow, that's actually... That's actually pretty neat. I mean... I'm not, I'm not going to keep it, but that opens up some possibilities that I haven't thought of. Having this uh, road treatment here. You know what? I'm kind of doubting whether I should keep this or not. You probably hate it, but let's see how it looks without that. Uh, it actually looks much better without it. But, uh, hmm, that's an interesting thing. So this two streets could potentially be the front of the uh, symmetries. If we put them aligned uh, right about... Here. Actually, you know what? I want to extend the road and have like a dedicated symmetry pathway. So, okay. So if we move this one, one tile and we move this one, one tile, we need to extend this road by about one tile. And hopefully that will work. So let's do this instead. Let's should have started on this side actually. So we're going to put that in. We're going to get that going there. In fact, I'm probably going to have this road sort of come this way. Basically have one tile of separation between everything. So let's put that there. Get rid of that. Nice. So these are now like internal roads of the symmetry. I think that will work, you know much nicer. In fact, here, let me try something else. This is going to blow your mind if it works. If it doesn't work, then it will, it just won't blow your mind. It's as easy as that. Who would have thought, right? That's an interesting, uh, interesting approach, if I do say so myself. So let's see, can we, if we put this here, how does this look? Not great. Not great. What about two over here? Actually, don't mind this. I really don't. We're going to put trees all around this, so trust me, it's going to look amazing. Okay, now we need to extend. Uh, these bad boys are still like, dude, they're just full of hearse everywhere. It's crazy. It's really, really crazy. Uh, what I want to do is uh, move this uh, roads just one tile over. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Connect this, connect that. This two match now. Perfect. All right, we got it. We got this. We totally got this. So, let's see if we can uh, wrap this one around uh, the symmetry. Well, first of all, I think uh, I need to somehow follow, and we have to eyeball this. Actually, we don't, because it will snap to the key here, so it's actually not uh, bad. It really doesn't like it. Okay, so can I extend you by like a tiny fraction? This is as close as I can get. Okay, not a problem. So three by three, it's actually perfect. Yeah, I'm keeping that. I'm totally keeping that. So this will be the epicenter of death. That's what I'm gonna call this, the epicenter of death. I gotta say, I don't love it, but actually, you know what? We can uh, we can bring it out up uh, on this side and we can also have some uh, a similar treatment here with more, with more of these. Now I think uh, this area is starting to look like it makes a little bit more sense. So, I'm gonna extend this road over here. I think the symmetry looks good. I'm ready to start moving away from this layout. Uh, actually, no, before I do that, let me see if I can... Whoa, that was a long segment that, that got deleted there. I want somehow to... we do that and can I get a road right in the middle 
Because that would be great if you would allow me the pleasure of having a road right in the middle. We can do this instead. Whoa, that is that is looking pretty bad. What the hell happened here? Let's let's fix this real quick. God damn it! Stop aligning to that thing. Actually, might as well use this. There we go. Not too bad. It's actually not too bad. I like that. Should I really do? Let me see if I can uh, get another proper road. Oh, I just messed it up. Let me. Oh, I really hate it when it does that. I really do. But I'm pushing. I'm really pushing the limits of the game. I know that. There we go. Um, you know what? Let me... Instead of using this angle, let me just uh, use this angle instead. That way, I mean, we can continue the, the back of the supermarket. And it makes a tiny bit more sense. Definitely can't have a street there. Yeah, this is uh, as far as uh, we can go. Like so. Can grab this, put it there, and I can grab uh, the other one and put it right there too. And that sort of works. Can get rid of that. My main concern is that now this uh, this this one is not aligned. Let's see if we can move it over here. Uh, I might have messed this one up. Or did I? Could just do that. And uh, maybe move this one just to one tile. That way we have streets all around this thing. In fact, I can... Let's see, how big is this? Four units. So... Alright! That actually looks great. I'm not going to touch this anymore. I think I'm going to keep it. So now let's jump into time-lapse mode and finish uh, the rest of this uh, beautiful layout. See what we can come up with. Well, that's essentially how I feel about life. Full of loneliness and misery and suffering and unhappiness. And it's all over much too quickly. The question is, have I learned anything about life?
I don't know what it is, but there's something magical about an empty grid. Uh, it just feels like there's so much potential. But uh, let me just walk you through some of the changes uh, that I made in between uh, the time lapse and uh, just now. Because uh, we started over in this corner and I made some significant changes. I did keep some of the original roads, especially around uh, the uh, the graveyard. Well, I pretty much haven't touched this. But um, the what what I did is basically try to get the main avenues that we used to have and use those as the guidelines for the roads in between. So you, as you can see here, the direction or the orientation of the roads in this very unique uh, blocks of city, it's uh, kind of dictated by the angles of the avenues around them. So as you can see here, we have this uh, diagonal avenue, which means that we have this diagonal road and this diagonal road that kind of sort of define the edges of the streets. And uh, you can see that uh, pattern repeated over and over again. In this case, we have this angle and this angle define this grid, even though this one is kind of uh, hits at a, I don't know, like a 30 degree angle. And that way uh, I came up with this layout that I'm, I'm quite happy. It definitely breaks the grid. So you can't accuse me of uh, having uh, grids all over the place. It is still kind of a grid, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I just think it looks it looks fantastic, and the reason why I kept the roads so close to each other is because I wanna I wanna have like super tiny houses throughout this whole area. I might redo some of the roads as we zone a few things, but uh, overall I'm quite happy. In fact, one thing that I uh, I wanted to do here is you might have noticed that the main roads that sort of exit in and out of these uh, neighborhoods that are sort of contained here uh, are that they have tree layouts. So I wanted to try to add that to some degree just to like represent or highlight the roads that are more important than others we don't know if in the future we're going to need to um be able to highlight them or increase the lanes but uh, i just thought it was a cool design uh, choice uh let's see over here we're going to want this and this is that right yes that's correct perfect and I think there's was uh, another one over here. So this is sort of the main road. Probably this one too, and this one. And over here, I did something a bit interesting. I, I sort of kept this one-way road and branched it out. I think it looks nice. Uh, we're definitely gonna have some high density buildings here, most likely, so I decided to keep it this way and not pack the roads so close together. We also need to figure out where to put some parks and uh, and soccer fields. There used to be a soccer field right in the middle of downtown that I had to uh, demolish. Uh, we used to have a baseball park here as well. What did I do with that? I think I got rid of that too. So uh, I'm not going to start zoning in this episode. That will be the cliffhanger, I guess. Uh, but I want to maybe put down some parks, some of the larger parks, just to see how they fit. And then we'll, we'll call this episode uh, for now. So let me see. So we have the baseball park, which is huge. And unfortunately, we don't have any spot that is as big as this uh, requires. This could be the biggest spot right here. What about... Uh, hmm. It's, uh, it's challenging. This This could actually work. This right here. And uh, we would need to get rid of those roads, which is not a big deal. In fact, we can get rid of this road and put down another sort of uh, mirrored. Can we get the diamonds to be somewhat mirrored? That looks freaking fantastic, if I do say so myself. We're going to put some, some decorations in here in between uh, some some paths and whatnot. Let's let's look for the uh, soccer field, shall we? It should be somewhere around here, if I'm not mistaken. I know I can use the search box, but it's just so slow. Sometimes it might be easier to just uh, look for it over here. So we have the baseball field there, and we have the football field or the soccer field, depending on where you live in the world. You'll call it one thing or the other. Uh, this one's huge too. Man, it doesn't fit. This could be a tight fit here if we put it. At some point I want to have like, uh, actually this is somewhat, uh, 
perfect. If we get rid of that road. And we can also put down another one on the other side. You know what? We're doing that. We're totally doing that. So boom, boom. Combo with the two soccer fields and this uh, road in between. I think it looks quite fantastic. Oh, by the way, yeah, this whole area needs some uh, pipes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. What's the uh, price? Uh, 22 units, actually. Not the price. The, um, the distance that we would have to go in order to get the perfectly spaced out. That pretty much covers the whole area and this feature area as well. So good news there. It still needs some power, but I'll take care of that later because uh, there's really no point in bringing down uh, uh, under you know cable connections all the way over here just for these two fields. In fact, we can uh, maybe turn them off for the time being. And uh, maybe same thing with this. Even though the simulation has stopped, uh, might as well do it. Now, I think we need some parks too, so let's put down a skate park, actually, because I only have one that I did off camera. Let me hide this real quick. Uh, this one right here, I put down a skate park right next to the government house, which is kind of cool. Um, but let's see, let's put it, uh, I guess we can have like some sort of sports complex near the uh, soccer fields and whatnot. So let's just put it there. Actually, look perfect, perfectly aligned, almost as it was meant to be. And uh, I don't know if I have any other parks that are like that in the sense of, uh, you know, like sports and things. If I actually search for sports, sport. can I get, what is this? Transport tower, not necessarily what I was looking. This is just a logo, and this is just a sports car. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I'm probably going to put down some more parks uh, for the next episode, but uh, I'm running out of time on this one, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it here. In the next episode, we're going to hopefully start zoning. I really want to start expanding the layout towards this side of the city as well, and maybe then do all the zoning. Uh, but it might make more sense to just zone this first and then worry about that. I don't know. Uh, we also need to really figure out what to do here. We need to get this connection done because otherwise I feel like it's going to put a lot of stress on this uh, road over here. But um, unfortunately, that's all the time that I have for now. So if you enjoyed this episode, please click the like button. It's very, very appreciated. And also, please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I already said all the things that we're going to be doing in the next episode. So all that I want to say for now is thank you for watching. I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.